everybody, welcome to Post Preps Game Day. We're live from Broomfield High School to preview the Post Preps Game of the Week. Brought to you by American Furniture Warehouse. I'm Tim Jenkins with Broomfield head coach Blair Hubbard and senior defensive back Trey Jaramillo to preview the game. You can stream the game live on facebook.com slash postpreps or on our website denverpost.com slash preps. Coach, let's jump right into it. You're going sure. up against Coach Bravo, 20-year head man over there. Monarchs run game, it's, it's been consistent, it's been the same. Um, talk to us a little bit about what you've done with these guys to prep them for what they're going to see. You know, the main thing with uh, stopping an offense like that, that we've tried to talk to the guys a lot this year and in, in the previous years, um, defending this type of offense is we've, we've got to be physical because everything runs through their offensive line and that flows over to the rest of their team, the rest of their program. So we want to match or exceed that physicality. And then we want to bring everything down to a, a very small key and read for our defense. If they try to see too much, we're going to lose the ball carrier. But if they focus in on their keys, uh, we should be okay. Trey, talk to everybody about being a defensive back. You're facing a run-heavy team. Obviously, they're going to try to lull you to sleep with the run game and then hit you with play action. Just talk about your keys a little bit, what the coaches have prepped you on in terms of staying locked in, play in, play out. So uh, going into this game, I think the one important thing is uh, just so you don't – you just don't got to fall asleep, you know. You know, they're going to just run, 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 and then they're going to do that one pop pass over the top. So you just got to be focused in and make sure that you're reading your tight ends and wings. And so if they're going vertical on you, that you're uh, keyed in. Coach, let's switch it to the offensive side of the ball. Your sure. quarterback going from his sophomore year to his junior year. Talk to me a little bit about his maturation. Have you guys kind of turned him free pre-snap in terms of making decisions or his progression, just kind of what you guys have done with him and the development you've seen? Yeah, with where he came from last year, just his comfortability with what we want offensively, um, him knowing exactly what we're looking for as our quarterback. We've opened up some things for him to make some decisions on the field pre-snap out there, and he's done a good job with that so far this year. Trey, staying on the offensive side of the ball, talk to me about one of your teammates. Give me a guy that maybe we don't know about that this could be a really big week for him, a breakout week for him, or someone that we do know that you're expecting big things from. Uh, I mean, obviously you're going to see uh, Stevie Cole and uh, Tanner Gardner uh, put up some big points on the board, but I think one guy you need to really take a note of is uh, Matt Foster. He's up and coming. He's a junior. I mean, he's been having really good games so far, so I think you should uh, really keep your eye out for him tonight. Awesome, guys, and just again, this is Post Preps Game Day. We're previewing the Broomfield Monarch game, 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. You can stream it on Facebook.com slash Post Preps or our website, DenverPost.com slash Preps. Coach, let's transition a little bit. Let's talk about some other matchups that are around the sure. state. We've got Dakota Ridge, Wheat Ridge tonight. Just give me your perspective as a coach. I, I know you've played Wheat Ridge already. I know you're – I'm sure you keep a close eye on Dakota Ridge and Coach Ron down there. Just what are some of the things that, that you're looking for in this game? You know, we faced both of the teams, uh, Wheat Ridge during the regular season here, and then Dakota Ridge, we saw them down at summer camp. So we've matched up with both of them. I know both of them are probably a little, um, little disappointed with their start, but, but I expect a, a good, solid game. It's an old Jeff Co Jeffco rivalry game. Um, but I'd probably give the edge to, to Dakota Ridge going into this one. Yep. Trey, talk to me a little bit about you guys have played Wheat Ridge this year already. You know, give me some things that if you're Dakota Ridge, you know, what you guys were talking about Wheat Ridge week and then some things that they should look out for. Uh, I think the main focus of your Dakota Ridge going into that game is offensively the quarterback and running back. I know that was what we keyed up on going into uh, uh, week two, and so they were giving us a couple of fits. But, you know, if you're Dakota Ridge, you need to make sure you have those two locked down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think you mentioned it. At both teams said at one and three. I don't think anyone preseason saw that happening. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, you know, for us looking at it, I, I really like Dakota Ridge in this game. I think uh, Coach Ron's going to have those guys ready to go, um, maybe by a score or two. I, I know you said the same earlier. Um, as we're looking at maybe Cherry Creek Valor, I think this is – one of the more interesting dynamics in the state and that you might have three Division One quarterbacks on the field mm -hmm. at the same time. You've got Luke McCaffrey with offers from all over. You've got uh, Blake Stentrum, a CU commit, and then Cherry Creek's quarterback, Alex Padilla, who I think everyone thinks is going to be a Power 5 kid. Mm -hmm. um, just talk to us a little bit about, as a coach, looking at that, some keys to victory. You know, what would, what would you kind of look at from each side of those squads? You know, last year those, those two teams matched up in a, in a defensive battle, and this year they've already started to put up some, some big points. You know, Cherry Creek had a big game against um, Grand, Grandview last week and put up some good points, so I think things are going to probably open up. So I think it's the team that uh, gets the most stops is probably going to be the one that comes out ahead this, this year. Yeah, I think, you know, when we're looking at it from a prediction standpoint, uh, this is the one time that I think I really like the underdog against Valor. Uh -huh. I think uh, Alex Padilla, I think Dimitri Stanley, I think Marcus Miller. Offensively, Creek can do some things in the passing game that will really give them a chance. So I think they can go on the road tonight and steal this one from Valor, which uh, I don't think that's the consensus right now amongst yeah. everyone else. Yeah. 
What do you think for this one, Coach? Yeah, I think a big matchup is going to be how how Valor's able to defend uh, Creek's wide receiver. He's got 40 catches already on the season. He's got 500 yards receiving. So uh, that'll be a key to, to the game tonight, who can win that matchup. Guys, and just a reminder, this is the Post Preps Game Day Show, 7 o'clock p.m. You can stream the Broomfield Monarch game live on Facebook.com slash Post Preps or our website, DenverPost.com slash Preps. Coach, let's jump into the final segment. If we're sitting here tomorrow and you guys are 3-2, and two, and Trey, I'd love to get your input here too, what's the one thing you guys either did or you took away that enabled that result? You know, I think the big thing is defensively for us. Uh, we've got to be able to turn the ball over, get them to uh, turn the ball over to us, uh, whether it's through the punt or, or takeaways. Uh, if our defense uh, focuses in uh, on the little things that we've coached them up to do all week long, uh, I think that would be the big thing that will help us to get to 3-2. and two. Trey, how about you? Uh, so the motto that coach has been kind of preaching to us all week is see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see nothing. And the message behind that is, you know, if you're getting your eyes caught in the backfield, you know that you're going to have the running back break out in open field. But if you focus on your one man and you key up on him, then I think we're going to have a good outcome to this game. So I love that. And, and guys, now we're going to predict the game of the week. I, I'm pretty sure I know where you guys stand in terms of predicting, so I, won't, I, I don't need to make you guys do this one. Um, for me, Monarch coming in 4-0, they have a ton of momentum. You know, I think they've had a great start to the season. But to be honest with you, I think Trey's going to have those guys ready on defense. He's going to have his eyes in the right spot. I think Stevie's ready to take advantage of the middle field close defense, the cover threes, the cover one that you guys are going to get. Um, and I really like Broomfield on the road this week um, to pull the upset. And I think you guys are going to be sitting here three and two tomorrow. What do you guys behind me think of that? We'll take that. <laughs> Sounds good. Guys, and <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> I think you're going to have a good atmosphere tonight. Yes, I don't think there's awesome. any exactly. question about the atmosphere. <laughs> Guys, and that's going to that's gonna do it for us on the Post Preps Game Day show. Um, a reminder, 7 o'clock p.m. You guys can tune in on Facebook.com slash Post Preps or our website, DenverPost.com slash preps coach thank you so much for yep. joining us Trey thank you for thank joining you so us much. guys I'm Tim Jenkins and until next week take it easy